Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be checking out uh, the cell builder, kind of seeing how many queen cells we have to do some splits. Uh, sorry for the wind today, there's really not much I can do about that. But uh, let's take a look at the cell builder. Uh, we're going to evaluate how many queen cells are pretty well capped. And uh, if that happens, then this weekend we'll be putting in um, some cells. Um, I'll be going through a few of these hives here and uh, we'll be working on our uh, queen castles, getting some frames of uh, <clears throat> brood and food in those, getting those ready for some queen rearing as well. So let's go in there and let's ins inspect those uh, cell builders and see what happens. Okay folks, so this is a cell builder that I'd made up uh, two weeks ago after I sold a couple nukes. Um, this week I probably need to add some more uh, laid up frames in it. Try to add some more bees because I'm going to keep using this to build. Um, Looks like the population is going down just a shade so we'll be uh, adding some bees to this today and counting how many capped queen cells we have. Um, I have two rounds of grafts in here. One round is going to be two weeks old this weekend, so those will definitely have to get pulled out. They're going to be hatching. And then that one um, is about, uh, they're a week old today, because I did them last Wednesday. So we'll see how I did in the first round. Um, it has been quite cool here in Missouri the last couple weeks. So, here's what we got. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 32. Looks like we got 32 out of 44 on the first round so not not too shabby on that so I've got in my uh, queen castle over there I've got four of those that are three so I'll have 12 in there and then we'll have to make up 20 splits so that's a good thing there let's check out graph number two I had 15 of these originally and we'll see how I, well I did on that one. Not as well. Looks like we got one, two, three, four, five. Looks like we got six. So that one didn't do as well. Um, so obviously I need to work on my grafting skills a little bit. Try to get these numbers up. We got pretty decent B numbers. But... For the first couple rounds, I'm pretty happy with that. We'll do some more uh, grafting here this weekend. Try to get some more more cells put in. But everything else in here is looking pretty good. I mean, uh, some of the stuff I left in there, they should already be pretty well hatched out. Everything else is going to probably just be food and, and other stuff. Which that's all that is. The next frame over here looks like it still has some uh, brood that hasn't quite hatched yet. So we got a nice frame there that hasn't hatched, but that'll add a lot of new bees. Same on the back side. We're going to have a lot of new bees in there, but I'm going to add one more frame here in a minute. Probably trade out a food frame with another one. And uh, see how that goes. Okay, so this is a, a frame from another colony. As you can see, it's very well laid up. I don't see any fresh eggs in it on either side, which, you know, they'd be wanting to make a queen cell out of that, so. I'll put that, put that in this colony here. 
or I'm sorry, in my cell builder. Just double checking, I don't have a queen in there, but there are a few drones I see, which that's fine. So, I'll just take take a frame of these bees out that just have food, and we'll probably move them into one of the cell builders there. Just throw these right back in. end up moving some of these queen cells over here this weekend. Okay, so for people that have never seen a queen castle, this is what it is. This is one style. So this this box here, it holds uh, nine frames total. You can see the dividing board, excuse me, the dividing board in there. And then on each side of the castle, there's spots for the bees to go out in different directions. Bees don't intermix. Everybody's nice and happy. And uh, you know, I used these last years to uh, to make queens. Worked out pretty well. So we'll uh, stop the video here, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, guys, this is kind of what it looks like here at the end. So what I've done is I've put one frame of uh, food on there. So that's going to be a combination of, you know, a fair amount of pollen, nectar, and some eggs. I have one frame that is empty. It's already drawn. And then another frame that is, uh, you know, cap brood or eggs, larvae, etc. So today it's Thursday, the 16th of April. And what I'll do is come out here uh, Saturday or Sunday this week and put in those queen cells by then you know these little uh mating nukes here they'll have drawn um, queen cells by that time so i'll be able to uh, scrape those out and they'll readily accept the uh, the queen cell and we should be good at that point you know the queens they should be hatching you know come uh sunday monday somewhere in that time frame and we'll have these mating nukes going and I'll kind of show you guys what happens here in a couple weeks, and hopefully we have uh, a bunch of mated queens here from our expansion. So that's kind of how I do uh, my queen castles here. And what I'll do is I'll, uh, you know, begin grafting here on a weekly basis so I can uh, keep creating the queens and use that for my uh, expansion in the apiary, making splits, etc., or selling queens, and things like that. Uh, I will do a video here when the weather is better, kind of showing the grafting, but today with the wind, it's not, not ideal. But anyways, that's what we got. If you have any questions, you know, please put it in the comments, hit the subscribe and like button, and we'll see you in the next video.